Bienvenidos clase, hoy vamos a hablar sobre los, los lugares de Converse College. Tenemos muchos lugares diferentes, incluyendo, pues una pregunta para empezar, ¿dónde pasa la mayoría de su tiempo en Converse? ¿Dónde pasa la mayoría de su tiempo en Converse? Yo lo paso en mi oficina, ¿no? I spend most of my time in my office. Oficina. Muy bien. Pero hay muchos lugares diferentes. So I want you to look in the back of your chapter to the vocab. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos, ¿qué es? La biblioteca. La biblioteca. La residencia estudiantil. La residencia estudiantil. El gimnasio. El gimnasio. Hmm. La librería. So we have another one of those IA words here. La librería. So this is a false cognate. So you look at librería and you think library, but it's not. It actually means bookstore. Biblioteca. Is, li is library, 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 librería is bookstore. El anfiteatro. El anfiteatro. Una aula, un salón. Una aula, o un salón. La galería, another one of those IA words, galería o museo de arte. Museo de arte. La cafetería. Another one of those IA words. La cafetería. This is G dining hall. El laboratorio. El laboratorio. We're going to go back over them. So you tell me what it is. You say it before I say it. La biblioteca. La residencia estudiantil. El gimnasio. La librería. El anfiteatro. Una aula o un salón. La Galería o Museo de Arte. La Cafetería. El Laboratorio. Muy bien, vamos a ver el mapa que está en la página 39. Muy bien. Y ustedes van a hacer unas comparaciones entre la Universidad de Puerto Rico y 
Converse College, right? So you're gonna just gonna make look at the map and make some comparisons based on exercise two dot eleven. So I want you to pause the video and go ahead and do that. Muy bien, vamos a continuar. Um, we would go over that, but I think you guys have got that down just to practice the place names. Donde comemos in Converse? Donde comemos? Comemos en G, right? Comer, comemos. Y comer, so yesterday we did AR verbs, and today we're doing ER and IR verbs. Um, so the same rules apply. Comer is the infinitive. We need to drop the ER and add the following endings. Yo como. Tú comes. Él, ella, usted come. Nosotros comemos. Vosotros comes. Ellos, ellas, ustedes comen. Muy bien. And verbs that end in IR are, for, por ejemplo, escribir. So, one of those verbs, right? Escribir. Remember what I said about ES words? You take off the E, we have escribir. What does that look like? To scribe or to write, right? Yo escribo. Tú escribes. Él, ella, usted escribe. Nosotros escribimos. Vosotros escribís. Ellos, ellas, ustedes escriben. So you're going to see all of the endings are exactly the same, except nosotros and vosotros are a little bit different. And you're going to find this across Spanish, uh, across the language, verb tenses, whatever. Nosotros and vosotros tend to always be a little bit different. Um, and this is going to come up when we start doing stem changing verbs in chapter three. Um, muy bien, pues vamos a ir. Some verbs are also exceptions in the yo form. So, por ejemplo, hacer is haces, hace, hacemos, etc. But in the yo, these are called the go verbs. We're going to learn more of these, I think, in chapter 5. So, por ejemplo, hacer is yo hago, salir, yo salgo. So, the only way you can really, you have to, you have to basically memorize that, right? Um... So that is on page, let me find that in the textbook. Sorry about that. That's on page 50 in the textbook, right? So look on page 50 and you'll see those exceptions, right? And they're only exceptions in the yo form, otherwise they're, they're regular verbs. Bien, vamos a ir a 2.19 en el libro, en la página 51, and I'm going to flip over to the textbook here. 51, 2.19, ¿dónde está? There we go. Not a great practice, but the book doesn't have a lot of great practice, unfortunately, for the ERIR verbs. So I want you to go through here and read the sentences and then talk about which class each one of these um, applies to. Por ejemplo, aprendo cosas muy interesantes. ¿Qué es aprender? I learn español. You've learned a lot of interesting things in this class now. So go ahead, pause the video, and I want you to fill in that, and uh, then we'll come back. Muy bien, pues, um, we're going to do one more activity because we were a little bit light on activities today. 
So we're going to go to 2.9 um, to practice some of the some more of the the, the places. Uh, 2.9. So this is on page 38. I'm trying to write and I can't write on that. Pagina 38, right? So 2.9. Here I am going to I am going to read you um, a thing, something, and you're going to decide where it fits here, right? Um, so it could fit into more than one place, right? So number one. El centro estudiantil. El centro estudiantil. So what would apply here? There are students and they're sleeping. Well, I've seen some people sleeping in the student center, yes. I, there are students and they study, sure. Profesores, I've seen them over in the, the uh, Centro Estudiantil. Um, hay estudiantes y comen, they're eating, yep. And there are máquinas de ejercicio, yeah, because we that's where our gym is, in the basement over there, right? So a Centro Estudiantil could apply to every single one of those. Okay, muy bien. Number two. La oficina del profesor. La oficina del profesor. Hmm. Well, hay profesores, no? Um, hay estudiantes, they're sleeping. No, students aren't sleeping. But I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a secret. I actually have a futon in my office. Some, some afternoons when I'm there all day, I lock the door, put in my earplugs, turn on my fan, and I take like a 40-minute nap. Don't tell anybody that. Muy bien. Siguiente. La cafetería. La cafetería. Hmm. Do we ever find students sleeping in, in G? Eh, probably not. Some students we see studying. There are professors. There are people eating. No exercise machines. Though. Maybe we need that in G with some of the fatty food they serve out there. Siguiente. La residencia. La residencia. So it could be uno. It could be dos. Probably not three. Professors don't tend to go into the residences. Could be cuatro. Cinco? I don't know. Maybe you guys have an elliptical you, you drug up to your dorm. I don't know. Maybe. Siguiente. La biblioteca. La biblioteca. Uno? Sure. Probably. Dos? Studying. Definitely. There might be professors. There are definitely professors in there. Dr. Harbin runs a writing center in the library. Um, students eating? Yep. Exercise machines? Probably not. El gimnasio. El gimnasio. Número cinco. Hay máquinas de ejercicio. Siguiente, el cuarto. El Cuarto. So a room. Uno, dos, cuatro, and maybe cinco as well, right? Okay, muy bien. So I, I stretched that out a little bit, but in the workbook, you're ready to do 28, 216, and 218 to help start wrapping up everything from Chapter 2 workbook. Go for it for more practice. And I'm going to leave up a link here for another explanation for ERIR verbs. And down below in the comments, you'll see some extra practice if you want to take it. Y ya es todo. Nos vemos mañana.